Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. As per the French aviation media house Avion's legendaries, the Omni Rule Dassault Aviation Rafale F4 would prevail over the seven competitors in $20 billion contract of multi role fighter aircraft for Indian Air Force. There is even talk of contract signing between the end of summer and the beginning of the fall, which is after the last week of September. Last year in April, the then Air Chief Marshal Arkes Bhaduria was in France where the Salt Aviation had briefed him about Rafale F4. If the French fighter cracks the MRFA deal, the next 114 Rafale jets will include India-specific changes as per the previous deal. It's also expected that there will 70% transfer of technology to produce the Salt Rafale for Indian Air Force under Make in India clause. As per the plan, 18 out of 114 fighters will be directly imported from France and the next 36 fighter jet will be made in India. The payment for same will be done partially in Indian currency and foreign currency. This will constitute the first order of MRFA containing 54 fighter jets. The next batch of order will consist of 60 fighter jets and the execution and completion of the next 60 fighter jet will be responsibility of the Indian firm in joint venture with the Salt Rafale. The payment for this order will be completely made in Indian currency. Now let us take this opportunity to discuss about what's new in Rafale F4. The Rafale fighter jets have many variants and Indian Air Force is currently operating the most advanced version of Rafale which is Rafale F3R, DH and EH for two-seater and single-seater respectively. Rafale is planning to upgrade their fighter jets to F4 variant, which is going to be the most advanced version of Rafale fighter jets. The upgrade of F4 variant has been planned in two phases. The phase 1 is called F4.1 and the phase 2 is called F4.2. The Rafale F4.1 will feature an upgraded radar as well as improved capabilities in helmet-mounted display. It will have new weapons, notably MBDS Mica Next Generation Air to Missile and the 100 kg AASM Air to Ground Modular Weapon, and we will be able to carry the new SCAL missiles. Talking about Mica NG, it will be based on entirely new design. It will inherit the external dimensions and unique concept that has made Mica anti air missile such a success for a quarter of a century. This concept means MICA features either an infrared or a radio frequency seeker on the same common missile body, allowing the operator at the moment of firing to select the best option to respond to tactics adopted by the adversaries. On MICA NG, a new infrared seeker based on metric sensor will provide increased sensitivity with a new radio frequency seeker with an active electronically scanned antenna which will allow for smart detection strategies. The lower volume of electronic components will enable Mica NG to carry a larger load of propellant, significantly extending its range, and the new dual pulse rocket motor will provide additional energy to the missile at the end of its flight, improving its maneuverability and ability to intercept targets at long range. In surface to air mode, the Mica NG will be able to intercept targets over 40 kilometers away. Finally, maintenance ownership cost will be significantly reduced thanks to its internal sensors that will monitor the status of munition throughout its life cycle. The Mica NG will be available for series production from 2026 onwards. The F4.1 will also be equipped with Talio's multifunctional optronic pod made by Thales, which is not available in Indian Rafales. Now talking about the F4.2, it will have more effective network-centric warfare with more data exchange and satellite communication capacity. The fighter jet will be able to receive more data and will be more secure due to satellite communication and software-defined radio. The validation of F4 standard is planned for 2024 with some functions becoming available as of 2022. The maintenance of F4 will also be going to be easier than its predecessor with new prognosis and diagnostic aid system which can predict 
when aircraft needs maintenance. It is also planned to incorporate big data and artificial intelligence to further develop F-4 into a true futuristic fighter. The Rafale F-4 will have new engine control unit as well. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.